Yeah, big big welcome to you, my dear Leo. Today or now the sun is in Sagittarius and Sagittarius is the archer, the archer, the the arrow that goes directly up into the sky. The archer that gives us a direction now in the time of darkness. It's getting darker and darker. In the time of introspection, in the time of pulling back, pulling the energies inwards. And when we pull inwards, like in the forward bend, there in that deep darkness, we know we always connected to the tree of life or to this guardian angel, which is Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael has his two of cups, which comes from Gemini. Gemini, we have the lovers. They are standing free in front of the trees and the angel behind it. And those two people have now shifted into the two of cups, into giving and taking, into a temperance, into a centeredness, into Samek. Samek is that pillar. And the pillar here is always the spine. The pillar is the central spine where the chakras are aligned. Now when I go deep within, so these are the two cups. And I'm painting the card again, right? So it's constantly shifting and giving me new insights. But this is what I have right now. This is Scorpio and this is Capricorn. And in here is the constellation of Sagittarius. So when I bow down, there's within me the silver thread and the golden thread that connects me through the chakras up to my own guardian angel, to my own higher consciousness. The crossing here is the day and night axis or the um, equinox. And the equinox always on spring and in fall is when the day and the night is equal. So this is highlighting your card. Now, I haven't painted your card new. I am about to paint it. So in the next reading, you will get a new card. But nevertheless, this card still has value. The crossing, as you can see, we come from spirit to matter, from time and space, continuum. And in the center, always in the center, we start understanding there is um, usually the guardian angel, there's usually then the central theme is the heart chakra. The central theme is where the love is, something can grow. So here the sun has become the hair of the lion. The infinite aid of inhale, inhale is an action. Inhale is for that red. To inhale, I have to want to inhale. The exhale is almost then this letting go. The exhale is falling. The exhale is coming down and then we live here. And this is constantly the past. Inhale is always the future. Inhale is something that we strive towards. Inhale is that arrow that the archer is pointing at. So the infinite aid that is above your head here is giving you the infinite loop of I'm inhaling and I'm bringing, I'm inhaling the future, I'm exhaling, it's becoming the past. Then right here where the tongue goes out, it's the lion's breath that I gave you the position as well. And then here the snake that's going up your spine through the heart. But nevertheless, your head, it's your lion's head that I put into the center of the card. Here we have Cancer and here we have Virgo. So, and of course here above your head is your own constellation. So this is your energy. This is you. Um being highlighted and the moon is waning and it means two fire signs come together it means that there is 
some energy going on there there is intensity going on and Sagittarius is all about experience and you are all about the passion right and so we might have passionate connections experiences or the experience is passionate you can turn it the way you want if your birthday is between um, June 13 and August 12 you are the classical king of wands sitting on your throne if your birthday is before or after please look down below in my description I have listed all the other court cards there so I am changing a little bit my uh, reading style. I'm combining these two together in one big stack. The Mystical Moment Oracle and the Light Seer Tarot in one big deck. Just that you see, right? So it's like really a lot of cards. And I have eight cards here. I already have picked them. But now I'm adding um, a Creativity Oracle, a very beautiful deck, all made by Fabric. And it's a couple that is doing, or that did these cards. And it's going to be the Oracle card for today's energy. Right? Oh, this was quick. They're quite um, sliding. This is the card. So we have a look at it. And as you can see, it's really beautiful, right? It's all made with fabric, very beautifully created. And the name of the card before I say anything. I want you, of course, to feel what this card is bringing out of you. But the name of the card is Muse. The number is the 29. If we calculate it together, it's the number 11. And 11 is a master, is master number, is a portal. So it says, seek out or act as a positive, inspiring and helpful muse to another's creativity. Wow. Seek out or act as a positive, inspiring and helpful muse to another's creativity. And that's what a muse is. A muse is amusing. <laughs> A muse is inspiring others, is invoking a creativity. And I think it's the most beautiful example of how we become when we truly spiritually non-conform, non-blaming, just being without expecting anything from others back, letting them be the where, where they are not wanting to change no one. Everybody is just perfect where they are. That's what a muse does. A muse has an energy of consciousness, higher consciousness, such high consciousness that it radiates out to all. And most famous painters had a muse like that were inspired by her. So here you are getting the card of Muse. Now very interesting the first card that jumped out was the Sun. And the Sun is your planet or your star because it's not a planet it's a star and it popped out literally and switched and it turned upside down. Now when it upside down in the native Indian tradition they say that 
it's not there yet. It's wanting to come, but it's not there yet. And so the sun upside down, I give you the words for that. I'm gonna turn it upright. Delays, negative mindset, self-doubt or lack of confidence, a need to tune out a negative mindset and to find inspiration. Now, if it's upright, joy, inspirational success, abundance and fulfillment, exuberant creativity, positivity, love, manifesting dreams, inner beauty, a yes card. Okay, so you got the muse. And it's not amusing to know that somehow within you, you are not ready to feel that you have the power to be a muse. That you can be amusing, that you can inspire, that you can inspire others to be creative, that you can be this light beam that she puts out and all that she receives from the sun, right? After that comes the Eight of Cups. So you are still letting go of things and that's why you're not able to fully receive the card upright. You are walking away from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. And you are walking towards the sun, but the sun here is setting. The sun is literally looking like it's setting, right? But it's the earth that's spinning. So you walking into the night, you walking into the evening, you walking away from things that are not working for you anymore. After that, you have two oracle cards coming up. And one is number 39, my home is my castle. And the second one is the number 33, weaving flowers. As you can see, you are leaving behind you stories and you are ready to build a new story. And you are then, when you build your new story, when you build your new space, you become this beautiful woman here where the weaving flowers, the number three, is saying do not sweat the small stuff anymore. Become the muse. Become this inspiration. Because look at her hands. She's holding something in her hands. And she's looking down at it. And she's almost saying here, I have all I need right here in my hands. And the same is happening here. She holds the castle. She's doing what she's doing with the flowers. And it's giving you the power to realize that Whatever it is that you're holding in your hands, whatever fits in your hands, it's all you need. And when we think of our hands, our hands come out from the heart space, from the heart chakra. 
and the hands are connected with Gemini. Gemini sensitive body part are his hands, arms and hands, and they come out from the heart chakra. And you are the heart. You have the heart as that most sensitive body part or even the strongest body part. So whatever you're holding in your hands, it's always directly coming from your heart. I cannot make out what it is that she's holding in her hands. It's, but it, it, it doesn't matter, right? It's something precious, as you can see. It's something precious. It's something special that you holding there. Then, of course, this story is, is, is blocking you because she's also looking into the past. Meanwhile, if she would have been upright, she also looks into the past. Now, because she's down, it's, it's kind of she's hanging upside down, but she's looking into the future. And she knows because she's looking into the future, she knows that it's time to move on. It's time to move forward. Now, she is looking into the future. She is looking at her and she's saying, you can do this. You've done many lives. These are past lives. And this life, it's up to you to hold it in your hands. It's up to you to give the heart into it. It's up to you to make what are you making of it. And this is the muse for me in this deck. The number 33, the words for it is creator, art of the universe, and integration. Now this is the number 12, which then becomes a 3, so you have 3, 3, 3. Eleven, three, three, three. So observe your hands, observe what you're holding, how you're holding things to bring you more into your heart, to bring you more into the heart, not as a, something that's beating, but it's it's beating through your hands. It's beating through whatever you touch and who you touch. Then comes the number 47, my dear friend, which is another 11. Another portal to the Queen of Swords, a friend, my dear friend. So maybe you have a Queen of Swords as a friend that you can hold yourself on to. It's almost like she's part of this energy that is created here between the horns and the hair of this young girl. And there are becoming one. And the same here, right? So there is something that's coming down through the third eye, through the hair. Hair is the extension of the third eye or it's it's in the native Indian. These are like antenna. That's why I'm letting my hair grow very long. And the Queen of Swords is mentally, visually knowing what she wants. She's single. So you are single and you have walked away so that you can become free, that you can become a single entity, that you can become your own muse, even. Not a muse for others, but first of all, a muse to yourself. And then, this is very interesting, Again, we have upside down. Both of them came upside down. And it's the world, another three. 
So you have um you have <clears throat> three one two three four four threes three is power chakra and four times the three is the heart so you are empowering your heart and as you can see in the muse her hands are not below here at the first or second chakra it's at the height of her heart. Here she is also lifting the home as my castle, right? My home is my castle. She's lifting that castle up to the level of her heart. And interesting enough, there is this heart, this green energy. It's like there is the heart. And her hands, of course, are below they're here at her hips so it's more the creativity the sexual energy and it's needed to be a muse to be a muse we have to understand what creativity means but mostly we have to understand what it means to be in a higher consciousness to be tapped into source because that's where the inspiration comes that's the infinite inspiration of all now here you have again like the sun and it's almost like it's saying yeah hey look you imagine we turn them all around it would look like this this is like holy guacamole <laughs> You have the sun, you have the yes card to be in the world and to have the two of cups, which is what Sagittarius is bringing. The Sagittarius energy is the two of cups, is the guardian angel that's put pouring the water back and forth in the two of cups. And here you are having the two of cups, a soul made love. A deep soulmate love that begins with your own two palms, feeling the energy between the two palms, and knowing that when you hold someone else's palm, that the same feeling happens when you hold their hands. Right? When you hold your hands here, you start understanding something very profound. And the day you're holding someone else's hands, here you start realizing, wow, there are exactly the same energy that when you're holding your two palms together. So, it's not there yet. It's coming that the world is shifting, the world is opening, and that the world is bringing to you the Two of Cups. The shadow side, taking shortcuts, a need for closure, a need to follow through, staying focused in order to complete an unfinished task, a delay in plans, unmet dreams. Okay, so you gotta finish something. You gotta finish something and that's why you walking away. You gotta finish something because even your own star is talking to you and saying you got to emotionally finish something because if you do this will turn around instantly and the world is yours. You understand? Okay, good. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you really understand. If you do that then the two of cups will come to you. The Two of Cups, emotional blocks, not being open to receive love, disharmony, unions disrupted, separation, healing past trauma. 
So, of course, that means, of course, healing something that is needed to be healed. Ne healing something that's needing to be healed so that you can become the muse, that you can become this inspiration, not for others, for yourself, that you can see, okay, all these past lives, yes, maybe they have given you a lot of difficulties, but here is the next one, here is your next life, here is this life, and here you are the creatrix, he, here you are the creator, you are the number three, three here, the empress, and again, another three. I forgot this three. So you have one, two, three, four. No, it's four. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, ah. Oh. So look forward, even though you're single, look forward. But you have your friends, you have relationships that are important to you, that are inspirational to you, that, can, that will help you to find, when you're walking away, a place, a new castle, a new place that you can, again, continue to turn this around once you have healed it and where it's leading you in the whole stack woo, to the number one to day and night to realizing that everything is coming and going that everything is shifting moon and sun ma man and woman and that in the duality in the temperance in the center is where we realize that this guardian angel is always here where we realize that when we exhale we exhale and when we inhale, we receive the future. When we exhale, it is the past that we're letting go. Inhale, right? We are here with the moon. Exhale, we are down with the sun. We are in the number one. And the number one is connected with this 11 portal, number 29, which is 11, 11, a one. It's already one, two, three ones. Then here is the one and the nine in here, the one is the magician, the nine is the hermit. That's why you like pull yourself a little bit away, but it makes the number ten, one and zero, another one, one, two, three, four to the heart, and a zero, a new beginning, 47, another two once. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six ones, that's it, six ones, six number ones, the third eye, the understanding that inspiration comes from a higher consciousness, understanding that if you want to be a muse, if you want to be a muse, you have friends, you have everything that you need. You have everything that you need. These ones. One, 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 one. And of course, the, the sun. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six ones. I mean, and then you have also the threes. You have one, two, three, four threes, and six ones. It's like, it's a spiritual lesson. It's a lesson for you to awaken to your true power, awaken to the inspiration that you can give to so many people. Know your worth. Know your worth because you're holding it here in your hands. Here is the sun. You're holding the sun. You're not holding the moon. You're holding the sun. You're holding the light. And that's when you become a muse. When you hold the light, 
you are inspirational to just about anybody. That's what gurus do. That's what insp inspirational people do. They make us feel something. And that's what you are about to shift into. It's coming. It's not there yet, but it's coming. Wow. Powerful, powerful energies, right? Powerful that you are in this combination with fire and fire. There is this passionate experience, a passionate experience that is wanting, that's wanting to come down to you. And it's coming. Remember. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I hope I see you in the next reading. That's when we have the sun in Capricorn. That is, of course, um, God Pan. I call it God Pan, not the devil. It's the darkest month of the year, and it's also the uh, winter um, solstice. So it's the winter solstice, and in the winter solstice we look deep, 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 deep down one more time before then it just really goes again up to the spring equinox. Until then, I thank you so much for watching. Namaste.